Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another brand new video. Today is a special one. I don't know if it's going to happen yet, so I don't want to jinx it, but my dad and I are heading down to Eugene. It's about a two hour drive. Right now it's 6.12 in the morning. We just got up, so keep you guys posted on the drive, but we're just about to head out. One thousand XRs right there. Alright you guys, we just got home, my bike, my car, paint is pretty much the same, I'll get it down onto the ground and probably pull them both out onto the road there, it was a good drive, kind of, I mean, it was like two hour drive, but just got home and I'm excited to unload the bike. Alright you guys, it is now about a week later. As you can see, the weather is from the previous clips, but here is the bike. I didn't do much explanation of this in the previous clip, just because I was a little bit shocked that it actually happened and that this turned out way better than I thought it would. I'm finally here with the bike. Um, the weather's finally nice out. So yesterday I was able to ride almost 100 miles Still got another 400 and something for the break-in service, but the bike runs amazing. It's way quicker than I thought it would be. And I'm extremely happy with the overall performance and looks of this bike. I mean, if you guys are in the market for a naked sport bike, highly recommend. I'll go over all the specs of this in just a second here, but here's a good look at what the bike kind of looks like. As I said a minute ago, I was kind of chill and a little bit almost laid back in the first part of this video, almost like I wasn't excited, but I can assure you guys I was extremely excited and now even more so that the weather is looking like this, but here's a quick walk around of the bike. So this is a 2023 BMW F900R. I picked this up last Saturday. It's now Sunday. It had 23 miles on it when I purchased the bike and now it is sitting at... 136 so I've actually already put on a boat 113 miles on the bike so so far it's been running really well now the color on this it appears as gray and it's pretty much the same as my car you guys know I have a mineral gray f30 this is actually called blue storm metallic so it's classified as blue even though it literally looks completely gray I'm not complaining though because I absolutely love the color of this bike at first, I kind of liked the silver wheels that came on the 2021s, but the black is completely growing on me. I love the look of the blacked out look on this. I have some big plans with this bike for modifications. It's pretty stock right now. I literally haven't changed anything on the bike so far. I think the first thing I'm going to do to the bike is remove the bag saddles and then get a tail tidy with a smaller plate frame so it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. The goal of this bike is to pretty much make it into the F900R Cup 
if you guys have seen that there's a race in europe that happens uh every year it's these bikes but they're built as like a cup street bike so pretty much they're stripped down take off all the excess like nonsense on the bike and then they're tuned differently and they have an aero exhaust on it so right now i have a stock exhaust my plan is to get an, an aero pro race full street exhaust so this thing is going to sound insane once i get the exhaust on there now when i was choosing a bike i did want to get a sports bike and as you guys know a sports bike doesn't really look like this this is a naked sports bike so pretty much the difference is all the fangs are different and then in some cases horsepower but this is a 900 cc it's a parallel twin with around 105 horsepower to the crank and i think 85 to 90 to the rear tire definitely moves it's got a six-speed transmission it does have a quick shifter on it so yesterday i will say the quick shifter is a must if you guys are looking for a sports bike please make sure it has a quick shifter this is a game changer so if you guys are fully pinned on the throttle literally no matter what just shift you don't even have to use a clutch so it's a game changer you can shift insanely fast get up to speed really quick in this bike so i will be getting some riding clips of the bike uh in a little bit here i don't actually have my insta 360 with me right now it's at home and i need to get some sort of chin mount i did order a helmet so i'm going to get a new helmet it's kind of an older one that i had from uh, riding my dad's bike over the last couple years. But I ordered a helmet. I have some new uh, pants that I just got yesterday. These are Sedici. They're pretty nice pants. I like them a lot. I'm gonna get some gloves and then a new jacket. I'm using one of my dad's jackets right now, but gloves, jacket, helmet, and then I gotta get some sort of mount for my helmet for the 360 camera. So if you guys are trying to find content on these bikes, it's pretty scarce. There's not that much videos on like modifying these bikes, riding really anything. It's all on the European side of the world. So my goal is to film as much as I can and tell you guys as much about this bike as I possibly can. I'm here in Oregon. So someone here in the US trying to film all about this bike. And uh, if I can help out, I'm gonna try my best to do so. So I hope you guys kind of enjoy the bike so far. As I said, I'm going to try and get some more clips of uh, riding, but I just don't have the setup right now. So I'll catch you guys once uh, I get that all set up. All right, you guys, I know this is not the best angle, but the only mount that I currently have is the chest mount. So we're going to make it work for the time being. Um, I'll definitely improve it with this setup in a little bit here, but this is kind of what I got for now. So we're working with it. guys sorry for the background noise that was kind of the first ride of the bike hopefully you guys enjoyed i just got home and did the first mod to the bike so i removed the side bag holder i think it looks cleaner without it on there and i don't even have the bags for the bike so got rid of it looks a lot better but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video peace